It's been a while since I've done a Wolfenstein review. What's next since I don't have the 2009 game? Wolfenstein The New Order? The show must go on. Wolfenstein The New Order is a first-person shooter developed by Machine Games and published by Bethesda Softworks with a release date of May 20th, 2014. This marks the first Wolfenstein game that didn't involve id Software as they gave the rights to Machine Games in 2010. The story starts the same as any other Wolfenstein game. BJ Blazkowicz once again fights the Nazis' plan for world domination. But that's where the cliché story ends. Not long after the game starts, you come to a fork in the road where you have to make a decision that affects the rest of the game. You think I'm just going to tell you what it is? Anyways, after a long and hard fight, BJ suffers a serious head injury and put into a coma. If that wasn't enough, the Nazis won World War II. Yep, this is an alternate history game. You know, there have been open debates regarding what would happen if the Nazis actually won World War II. With that out of the way, let's get back to the game. For the most part, it's pretty much the same as any other shooter. This time though, there are a few new mechanics introduced to this game. First and foremost, there's a map this time, so there's no excuse for getting lost. Next, you can either go guns blazing or go stealth. If you really want to make the game easier, I recommend going stealth. What's also new this time is that the game has a cover system. All you really have to do is press your character against an object and that's it. Aiming from cover also isn't that hard. What's also really awesome is the dual wielding and it isn't overly complicated. During the game, you can upgrade your weapons to do more. They range from demolition, stealth, tactical, or assault. The health system has a mix of both first aid kits and regeneration. What I mean is that if your health is at 55, you can either grab a first aid kit, or if there's none around, wait a few seconds and it'll, it'll regenerate health back to 60. It goes by the closest multiple of 20. You can even go over 100 health. There is armor in the game and finding more isn't that difficult. The only gripe I have is that in order to pick up armor, you actually have to press the action button to pick up. Most games I've played only require the character to walk over said item. Along the way, you'll come across secrets that contain either golden items or pieces of documents. You'll also come across Enigma codes. Collect enough and you'll unlock a unique feature that alters gameplay. The game puts the id Tech 5 engine to full use and the game looks good. The setting, character models, and animation are all smooth and the voice acting is also well done. It just goes to show what a game can truly do if the team can take advantage of a game engine's full capabilities. One unique feature is the lack of multiplayer and this time around it works perfectly. When asked why no multiplayer, senior gameplay designer Andreas Ogerofort stated, If we could take every bit of energy and sweat the studio has and pour all that into the single player campaign, it gives us the resources to make something very, very cool, compared to if we would also have to divert some of our resources to making multiplayer. Okay, fair enough. Overall, Wolfenstein The New Order delivers on everything. If you haven't picked this game up, do so. Next time is the conclusion, The New Blood.